Hello, I'm Matthew Rotella, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna go over, um, I'm still UV mapping, still crooking, still cranking on this acoustic guitar that I've been UV unwrapping various pieces of. Uh, now, there's only one more piece that I feel I would want to do and record that can be particularly tricky, and that's the, uh, strings. Now, I'm only going to UV unwrap one string here in the demo. I'm just going to do this big one so it's easiest to see what I'm uh, speaking about and what I mean. Now, I'm just going to hide the rest of the guitar and I isolated just this string. Uh, and you see, uh, the, what makes this tricky is that this is definitely one scenario where you want to stack the shells. Uh, it, because for something this long and this thin, getting at appropriately using your texture map so that it all uh, functions uh, the, the, on your one UV square uh, can be really difficult since it is so long and thin. So getting it to keep its correct proportions while still uh, still extending uh, can be rather difficult. Now, uh, you can theoretically, uh, of course, just scale it uh, uh, qu quite a bit in one direction since your UV tiles loop, but if you can make it work by properly uh, uh, stacking your shells, then that's pretty darn good as well, and that's what we're going to be doing. So, I have this spiral texture that I made for texturing my guitar string, and you're going to see how this will be useful in a second. Now, I didn't particularly uh, be careful to make sure that this properly tiles uh, vertically, but you'll still be able to see how it functions. So, first of all, uh, in all of this span, uh, I don't have any subdivisions, which helped me uh, keep any, everything straight when I was stringing the guitar. But I'm going to want those subdivisions so that I can divide my guitar string into equal and stackable tiles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my insert edge loop tool, use my tool settings, make sure I have multiple edge loops, and uh, I think 10 divisions should do it. Uh, but I'm going to wait a second to do that, because first, I'm going to get this from... To do this in the fewest uh, steps possible, I'm going to get this from being the default cylinder UVs that you can see here. And... Uh, I'll just do, uh, it'll all end up coming together in the end. Uh, most important thing is just that I get some UVs going. So, I don't know, I'll just do a planner projection which will give me this really weird thing here. But, once I hit unfold, everything should come together. So, I'm going to cut off my two end faces. So, uh, I'm going to cut that, oh, I'm going to go into UV shell, I'll, uh, and I can unfold this, and uh, I could also end up, uh, where is it? I could also end up uh, normalizing it in U and then B if I want it to be and uh, make sure that I keep it relatively, ah, whatever. Uh, I'm not going to worry about it. It's just the end. It's going to be shoved off to the side anyway. And I'll do the same thing at the other end. Get in there, select these edges, cut, UV shell, 
select that the shell here and give that a hot unfold as well shove this off to the side and uh, probably one that I could even just stack these to begin boop bibbidi boppity boop anyway yeah shove those off to the side for now now um, that I have this isolated what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert my edge loops so I go my insert edge loop tool I'm gonna click here and that'll insert 10 edge loops uh, evenly throughout and then while those are still selected from inserting them I'll just hit cut and now I'll get all of those as seams going along there and now I'm going to make one more cut. Uh, the last seam I want to place directly on the bottom of my string because that's the edge that's least likely to be seen. I want to deselect them from my end pieces and make one more cut going along. And now when I select all of these EV shells, and I hit unfold. You see, I get all. Well, I, well, I have two uh, rather uh, special pieces that will require some special attention, uh, which I don't think I'm going to worry about them too much within the context of the tutorial here. I'm going to focus on mainly demonstrating the primary part of this. Uh, now, why these two over here are special is because they're the two parts that are kinky at the end here. So they're going to need uh, some, some extra attention. And now uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stack and gather all of these shells onto the same spot. So... Uh, I'm going to use my EV kit here, and now once again, I will stack the shells, and now I can get all of them, and I can orient them also, and now they're all matching up perfectly, nice and grid-like, except for this one, or I guess a few, I decided to be a rebel, but I can just rotate them, and then hit orient, and they'll orient to be relatively the same as the other guys and now I'll make my shader and you'll see exactly how this will work which again I'm going to use this image which I just got a gradient on a rectangle shape in Photoshop and then just duplicated it upwards and now make a shader And uh, da, da, da. rendering in Arnold. So AI standard surface it is. And now my color file guitar string, which guitar string texture two. The one I'm working with here. Which, if you make this with more care, you will of course get a better result. But uh. Regardless, select this object, assign material to selection, and right there you can see what I'm working with. And now, as I get these and I scale them upwards, which I can just use my tool and Da, da, da. Normalize them. Uh, I always lose track of normalize for some reason. It's under a line and snap, and I normalize them in V. Boop. And now they perfectly hit the edges of my UV map. And now if I do an object selection mode. And then 
right off of that. Now these, of course, match up with my UVs that need that special attention with getting lined up with the others. But for now, for the, I'm just going to ignore them. And you can see that I have a pretty decent spiral going up. And if I even go and look at the seam, and you can see it when you look close, but it's not too noticeable from afar. And you can make sure that these properly tile with a little more care, like I said. And then I can also up the metalness attribute. And I can even plug this into a bump map as well because of how it functions. I'll just put my same uh, guitar string texture on a bump map and then set the bump depth to 0.1 and you can probably stand to be even lower. But uh, here, now let's get the rest of my scene back and let's see how it renders. I imagine it's going to be relatively decent. Uh, yeah, let's see. Yeah, what are we working with? Uh, Arnold Render. in a little bit, but that's okay. Uh, you know what? Uh, render abort render. Let's just get this little sample of the string right there. Forget progressive refinement. Give it to me. Alright, with a little more care, it would certainly look even better, but this is relatively uh, functional for getting that wound guitar string look that I would need. And uh, being able to properly stack and organize your UV shells is a key part of that whole process. Well, in any case, hope you enjoyed watching, hope you learned, and uh, thank you very much.